Hey guys, Greg here and welcome back to my channel. So in this video we're going to be looking at how to play Back in Black by ACDC. Uh, this is an absolute classic of theirs, or most ACDC songs are, but this is one of their most famous ones. And uh, can be found on the album also called Back in Black. Uh, it's a really great song to learn for anyone. If you've been playing a long time it's a great song, or if you're a beginner it's really good too because it uses three really basic chords that most people learn when they start out. These chords are E, D and A. And there's so many songs we can play with these chords. So once we've got these under our fingers, there's loads of, like I say, there's like a million other songs you can play with these. Um, so if you're not sure what these shapes are, the first one's going to be E. And how we play that, we get our first finger, which is this one, and we put that on our first fret on the G, third string up. And we get our second finger, this one, and we're going to put that on the second fret on the A string, so it sounds like this. And then we're going to get our third finger and put that on the second fret just underneath our second finger on the D string and for that one we can play all the strings so it sounds like that our second chord is going to be D so that's going to happen we're going to do D open which is the fourth uh, the fourth string up or the third string down then we're going to do our first finger is going to go on the second fret on the G so it sounds like that and our second finger we're going to put on the second fret on the E string right at the bottom it's going to sound like that and then our third finger is going to go on the third fret on the string in between those two, the B string. And it's going to sound like that. And we're going to play the bottom four strings all together. And that's D. And then we're going to play an A chord, which is going to be open A with the second biggest string at the top. And then we're going to play the second fret on the D, second fret on the G, and then the second fret on the B as well, and then the bottom string open. So it's going to sound like this. So how we're going to do that is we're going to play the first chord, which was E. We're going to play that once as a down strum. Then we're going to play D and we're going to go down, up, down. And then we're going to do A the same as D, down, up, down again. So, so we put all that together. So we're going to kind of kill the chord in between each time we play. So... And then, does that make sense? So instead of letting it ring out, we're going to try and just kill that with our, this part of our hand so that all the strings stop ringing. So that's kind of how it goes. And then there's like a different bit in between each time. So the first time we do it, we're going to do this bit here. And what that's going to be is three on the E string. And then we're going to pick open as well, so so three open on the bottom string, same on the B string, the one above it. And then we're going to do a little bend, and then bring it back again. So we're going to make that sound, this is like called a half bend, so we're going to make it sound like the fret next to it. So it's the same as that, but we're just doing it as a bend. And then we're going to pull off. So a pull off is where you kind of get a different note, but you don't actually pick it with your picking hand. So you kind of pick it with your left hand or your, your fretting hand, depending on if you're right handed or left handed. So, so that's the first bit. Then we're going to go back to E and do it as a down strum. Then D, 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 down, up, down. And then we're going to do A again, down, up, down. This time we've got like a little riff in between, which and there's a couple of ways you can do it. You can do it like this, so you do like seven with your little finger on the top string. If I play it through first, you can just hear how it goes again. So it's going to be so. What that is is going to be seven on the top string, and then four, and then seven five, and then seven six, and then two sevens. So we get. So that's one way of doing it, but if you're not used to using your little finger, which a lot of people aren't, because um, your little finger you don't really use much for 
I mean, on the guitar, you start using it, it's kind of strange, but in everyday life, you don't really use it for much. So the other way you can do it without your little finger is if you play this note here, which is a B, same as this one, and then we're going to do the same four on the top string again like we did before, but this time we're going to do it with our third finger. So we're going to do two on A, uh, four on E on the top, so and this time we're going to go back to two on A, and then open on A, then we've got two on A again, and then we've got the first fret on the A, and then two two twos on the A. It's all together. So as you can probably hear, they sound exactly the same. at is the chorus and you might have noticed that a lot of the chord shapes that we're using are the same as they are in the verse. Um, it's going to start off with an A which you can actually do just with one finger or you can use one finger across all three strings. If you find it easier to use three fingers across there like you did before then that's absolutely fine but there are other options that you can try out. It's, I think it's always good to experiment and see what works for you. Uh, so in this case, I'm using one finger. So we've got one A, we've got an E, and then we've got something called a power chord, which um, what that is, if you're not sure, is a, this kind of shape here. This is a B power chord. So we're going to play two on the A string, and then four on the D string. I'm going to play those together. And then we're going to take our top finger off, our first finger, and play the same string. So this time I'm going to have open A, and then four on the D finger back on and then we're going to have a B again so it's going to go so so far we've got A we've got E and we've got B and then we've got we've taken our finger off the top string and then put it back on so it does that whole bit twice so we're going to go which if you're not sure what that is this is a full G which you might find a little bit trickier than the other chords which we can do an easier version if you do and what that is is going to be our second finger is going to go on the top string on the third fret which sounds like that our first finger is going to go on this, uh, the second fret on the A which sounds like that then we're going to have open D we're going to have open G we're going to have third fret on the B with our third finger and then our little finger is going to go on the third fret on the E at the bottom. So we're going to do one of those like we did for A, so we're just going to strum it once. And then we're going to do a D. So we've got G, D. And then we're going to do an A again. And then we're going to do a little bend on the top string. We're just going to bend it a tiny bit on the third fret on the top E. And then back to A again. So all together we've got one G, we've got a D, we've got an A, a little bend on the third fret on the top string, and then back to A. So a little bit faster. And like the first bit, it does that twice as well, so another one of those. Then it goes back to the first bit that we did, so one A, then an E, then a B power chord, top finger off, back on again, and then we're going to do three G's like this, and then three D's. And that's the chorus. So after the chorus, it actually goes back to another verse, which is exactly the same as it was to start with. And then we've got another chorus after that, so it kind of repeats the whole thing again. And then we've got a guitar solo, but we're not actually going to look at the guitar solo because it's actually quite, quite a bit harder than the bits we're looking at at the moment. And we're going to keep it nice and simple. Um, so we're going to look at the bit underneath the solo, which if I just play it through so you can hear how it sounds. <laughs> So 
So as you can see, it's not actually that much different to what it was before. So if I break it down, it's gonna be E, like we played it before. So one E down. Then we're gonna do down, up, down on D. And then we're gonna do down, up, down on A. And then we're gonna do down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up on E. So down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. And then we're gonna do another down, but it's gonna be like the next part of the, or the first part of the next bit. So one more E. And then it kind of does the same thing again, up to here. And then we've got E, A, E, A, E. So I'll just play that through again. So E, D, 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 A, A, A. So that's what it does underneath the guitar solo. And then there's another chorus, which is the same as it was before. And then we've got a bit in the middle, which is a little bit different to the other parts. It's like a riff. And if I play that through, just so you can hear how it sounds, and then we'll break it down. <laughs> So this bit is actually a little bit trickier than the other parts. Um, it starts off with an open D. Then we're gonna do four on the A. Then we're gonna do two on the A. Back to four on the A. Three on the E on the top. So all together. Then we're gonna do two on the A. Open A. Two on the A. One on the A. And then two twos also on the A. So all together. And it does that whole bit again, so. So I'm gonna have that same pattern, but starting from G. So we're going to do open G, four on the D, two on the D, back to four on the D. Uh, we've got three on the A, then two on the D, open D, uh, two on the D again, one on the D, and then two, uh, two twos on the D. So it does that whole bit again like it did before. goes back to where it was before and the strings above and plays it again twice so so then it goes back to the chorus and it's exactly the same as it was before and then right at the end of the chorus it just hangs on an A chord and then it goes back to the same as we did before. So there are the rhythm guitar parts to Back in Black by ACDC. I hope you found that useful. Please like and subscribe if you did. Uh, what would you guys like me to cover in future videos? Um, as some of you know, my dad actually makes guitars. We're thinking of doing a video from how to build a guitar from scratch, if that's something you'd like to see. Um, that's all from me for now. Uh, take care guys and see you again soon.